All right, welcome back. Today is September 5th, 2024, and Yield Max has put out their dividend payments for September. So let's go right into it and see what we're getting this month. Uh, let's see. All you got to do is go to Yield Max ETFs, give you the tools so you can look uh, look yourself instead of waiting on some guy on YouTube to post it. Go to the uh, yieldmaxetfs.com. Get over here and you click on their news. And usually about the fifth of each month, they will come out and they'll post it on their Twitter feed, X feed. And they also post it right here on their news page. Click on news. You'll see right here. Usually they'll say distribution today, September 5th. Yield Max ETFs announces monthly distributions on blah, 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 blah. All right. All you do is click over here, read the press. All right. Yield Max ETFs announces monthly distributions on PYPY. All right. Uh, ooh, PYPY. I've, I've not even looked at that one. So that looks like the winner, Misty and Fiat. I do like Fiat now, especially with the market probably going to turn over and start heading south any month now. Oh, I know. The job numbers are not looking good. The uh, layoff numbers are up, up, up. People are not working. People are losing their jobs in all facets of manufacturing, tech, service industry, everywhere. Oh, my. It's not looking good, folks. It is all about the economy, so vote accordingly. Vote for the person that's going to help the economy, not what we currently got. Oh, dear God, we're in trouble. Anyway, let's go on. So I do like Fiat in that case. I have not bought any. I might buy a little uh, on the 8th after they pay out, because once you pay out the dividends, as you know, with these yield max funds and most dividend stocks, is the price goes down a few bucks to uh, basically cover the dividend payment. That's my understanding. That's what I've seen. You know, you pay out a buck 90 per share, you're gonna drop a few bucks in uh, stock price. And that's just to be expected and that's the nature of the beast. So you only ever wanna buy these things typically after they pay out their dividends or it may be in a correction like we had in August 5th where it pulled back five to 10%, but it bounced back. All right, let's go through it. Uh, here's some of them. I don't know what ones you guys have, but I have Misty and Crash, which eh, I'm down on Crash on a net asset value. But if you go through, these aren't sortable, are they? These are not sortable. But anyway, the top performers, PYPY, 101.91, Misty, 100, Fiat, 100, Kony, 91, surprisingly on that one, SQY, 81. So let's go down as you go through. Basically, instead of looking at the percentage, you can just look at the distribution, the uh, distribution per share, which is what I go by. So you have 100 shares and you just simply multiply it by this and you know what you're going to get paid out on the 8th. Uh, simple as pie. I love it. So NVIDIA, I think NVIDIA is overbought. It's, people are bailing out of it and going into probably bonds right now. You can see the money leaving NVIDIA. This is one I bought, uh, NVDY, NVIDIA, and, and the underlying stock they pay option, they trade options on is NVIDIA. And I did have that. I made a few bucks. I got out way too early. I'm an idiot. Again, that's my point. Do not listen to anyone on YouTube about financial advice or stocks. Please do not. Do it for entertainment. This is my journey. This is what I'm doing. Um, take it for what it is, but go do your own reading. Go with your gut. Do not, do not listen to anyone because I followed a few people and uh, there's maybe one channel that kind of gives you the real reality of the situation and they're saying get defensive because it's not looking good and that's a good recommendation, uh, but they're not telling you what to buy, when to buy. Don't ever listen to people like that or, you know, just this is for entertainment. Have fun with it and uh, enjoy the journey, right? Because uh, in the end, you can always only ever lose everything. <laughs> yeah. And that's not a good feeling. All right, let's go down. We're, you can go through and see some of the big boys here, like Coney right there. They're paying a buck oh four thirty two per share owned uh, in this ETF. Let's go on down. PYPY is paying one sixty one. Interesting. So they're paying one sixty one per share. 
All right, this is what I go by. I don't care about the percentage too much, distribution rate. I care about this distribution per share because that is what you're gonna get dumped into your uh, account. Uh, let's see, that's uh, PYPY, 1.61. Eh, what's the, oh, here's the big boy. So it looks like Misty is number one, one. Point eight five forty one a dollar eighty five is being paid out per share for September. You'll probably see that on the eighth in your account if you hold Misty. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's down. I mean, it's been above two at some point. It's been one ninety five last month. So uh, we'll see how this keeps going. But it's still that's better than five percent money market. But there is risk too. Because I am down on the net asset value on the price. So that's the whole video I made last time. You buy it, say you bought it at 20, it's down to 15. You're in the hole as far as the stock price is concerned, but you're still making dividends. So at what point do you just hold it until the money you made back matches your core investment and you call it a wash and get out of it? You know, that's one way to look at it too. Uh, or you have the hopium too that it's going to go up and then you are positive net asset value on the stock and then you're you're double dipping you're getting the dividends and you're also appreciating the price yeah i mean there's that too it's just it's a high risk that's the whole point it's all high risk and is like i said this is the complete opposite of doing a money market you're just risking it baby you're letting it roll and then usually when you do that you do lose money <laughs> but you only lose money when you realize the sale and cash out all right crash Crash is, uh, I have this one, it's paying uh, 98 cents per share. Interesting, okay. I, I'm down on that one too, so I don't know what to do with this. I might just hold it, because if the market's gonna turn over uh, and tech's gonna hit, because Tesla is a tech company. It's not really a car company, it's a tech company. Uh, with their auto driving and their batteries and all that stuff, they're, I don't know, that's the whole interesting thing about Tesla. It's not a car company, it's a tech. So they are affected by that. All right, let's go down. Bidi, 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 bidi. I want to look at, oh, here we go. So the winner, the winner of this month in September, as far as dividend payout is Fiat, which is $1.87 per share, beating Misty right here. You see where I'm looking? Here's Fiat, 187. And then you got the percentage 100.02, you know, blah, 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 100.04. But I just go by again, like I said, the price per share you are getting. Ooh, dips is not too bad, 121. And that is the short on NVIDIA. That may go up if NVIDIA goes down. You just don't know. I don't know enough about it to, uh, to speak to it. And there you go. There's some new ones out here. Uh, let's see, what was that PY? There's one I might want to look at is this PYPL option. I have no idea what this is. If you guys know anything or recommend any of these, let me know. But uh, so far, I like Misty because it's Bitcoin. It's a derivative investment for Bitcoin. Instead of holding Bitcoin, I do hold some Bitcoin. Not much. But uh, if you don't want to hold the coin yourself, you can go through these derivative trades and ETFs. You can do stuff like Fidelity, FBTC where you buy Bitcoin through Fidelity. They hold it, not your keys, not your coins. You're not getting dividends or anything on it. And you're paying up now as of August, you're paying a fee to purchase. It was uh, fee-less for uh, up to August, but now they in, in introduce their fees to make some money. Uh, yeah, everyone's got to make money. But that's the one thing you can do there. You can do the uh, Eomax ETFs. And there's actually a Bitcoin one. I forgot what it's called. It's in here somewhere. Why bit? So here you can do that. So while you're holding Bitcoin in a way, you're getting paid dividends. So you can think of it that way. You're actually getting paid to invest in kind of the Bitcoin thing. And that, that's, that's the pro. Whereas if you just have Bitcoin, you're just sitting on it with like gold. You're just hoping, oh, I'm hoping it keeps going up. Whereas this way you're getting dividends. So you're getting paid. Even if you're down, you're, you know, kind of minimizing the losses on paper by uh, making those dividends each month. Like with this ETF, I'm down a bit on Misty. But uh, getting those dividends, so you know, once you break even on, you know, cover your loss, if it never goes above what you purchase that, then you're, you know, then you're still making money. See what I mean? It's 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 all a risk with the net asset value too. I'm kind of treating it like real estate. 
treating these uh, ETFs here as real estate where you buy it. And of course, you're going to have expenses. It's going to go down. You're not going to, you know, equity is not going to be there in it. And you're just getting that monthly payment. So, and you're going to hold it for the long term, I guess. We'll see. I don't know. But that's my plan. Because again, this is my third bucket of money. Meaning that uh, I don't need it within the next 10 years. So I'm playing around with it just to see what I can do with it. And uh, hopefully not lose everything. But you never know. All right, let's go on. So uh, that's about it, right? Yeah, not much else to talk about. The market as of today is a Bitcoin 56.5. Everyone is, uh, the fear and greed index is very low. Uh, I don't think much people are interested in Bitcoin right now, even though if you look at all the news, a lot of the big boys, BlackRock is still buying Bitcoin. A lot of these other people are adding Bitcoin to their, their sheets, their spreadsheets. Uh, that is good. They're accumulating, they're accumulating, they're buying, they're buying, they're buying. So it makes me wonder that since BlackRock owns the majority of Bitcoin, I think, and then MicroStrategy is number two, if any of these guys are manipulating the price or holding it down until they get all their buyers in and boom, it'll take off because they're not going to let their clients, the rich people, buy all this Bitcoin at uh, 56000 and let it go to 45000 I mean, that's going to irk them and then they're going to get a lot of nasty phone calls and they're not going to get a lot of friends. And uh, when they go to the yacht club and the country clubs, they'll be shamed. So they're going to want to make these guys some money. And if they can you know, basically manipulate the Bitcoin price after their boys buy in, they're going to crank it up and then it may go back down. But if they get a spike up to a hundred thousand, then uh, they'll tell their boys, get out, make some money. And then they'll get out and then rinse and repeat because uh, volatility is Bitcoin. That's the name of the game. And that's kind of why Misty does well there. It's so volatile. It's tied to Bitcoin, tied to micro strategies, which owns a lot of Bitcoin. So you get a lot of up and down, up and down. With all that up and down is why you're getting these nice payments like this. So there you go. That's my understanding. I don't know anything about option trading. I let them do it. And uh, this is kind of a neat little vehicle. And again, on the other side, I'm very conservative with a 5% money market. I love that too. <laughs> those are, those, that's the bulk of your money right now being defensive. Defend, defend, defend. It's better to make 5% than to lose 50% of everything, right? You see what I mean? So I'd rather be in that strategy right now. But with this bucket of money, this is kind of the so called research money, play money, experiment money, and uh, within reason. You don't want to go stupid, but uh, it's all fun. But uh, yeah, it's fun to you lose everything, right? But again, you only lose it if you sell it. And uh, I did have one company, <laughs> never listen to people on the internet. I bought it. Uh, Lost a couple bucks on it. They went chapter 11. <laughs> so that was my stupid mistake. Just don't follow it. Think, think about things. Go with your gut and sleep on it. Anyway, that is all I got for today. You have your yield max dividend payouts. Misty is looking sweet. Fiat is looking a little bit sweeter. Uh, and that may be something I'll get into, like I said, come the 8th. After they pay out, I'll see what the uh, price is. Right now, Fiat is at... 2263, which is good because they come out at 20,000 when these, uh, these ETFs are introduced. So we're up 17 cents for the day. And I do have my Bitcoin miner update. Wolf, I'm still down a buck on that one. So I want that to get at least to five bucks. I just want to get out of this stuff and uh, get more defensive. So I need Wolf to recover to, to five bucks. It's a Bitcoin miner. They're pretty good. But again, the stock price is down to 4.16. And I need to get to five dollars and five—a big jump. But I'm waiting out. And now Exxon, I have some other Exxon, Exxon and oil stuff. They're kind of, kind of went back down from 118 down to 113 over the past couple of days. So that's my other stuff. But my big ones I want to get out of are maybe the Bitcoin miner because I'm a little spread too thin on some of this uh, Bitcoin crap. And uh, crash. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna see if I can recover my loss. With the dividends I get, I'll just compute. If I keep getting dividends each month at 98 cents per share I own on crash, and by the time I recoup that in a few months and the market does go turn, you know, does turn over and Tesla takes a hit, then a crash should go up accordingly. And uh, then it'll be a win win. I made back my loss, but then again, the net asset value went above to what I purchased it at 20, and pff, it's a win. You just don't know. So, again, it's the old saying sometimes time in the market. Uh, sure beats timing the market. You can never time it. It's it, You're just going to lose money. Anyway, that's all I got. Enjoy the fifth. Go forth. And um, 
not financial advice, guys, but being defensive at this point in time is probably not a bad idea. It's a good strategy. Get defensive. Look at the billionaires. What are the billionaires? Doing? Look at what this is. Again, this is your assignment for day. Google, what did Bill Gates Foundation do in the spring? What is Bezos doing? What did Warren Buffett just sell? Why are all these guys selling their stock and going to cash? Buffett dumped over half, his, half of his uh, Apple holdings. He loves Apple. Uh, he's dumping Wells Fargo. What does he know about the banks? Are the banks in trouble? So all these guys, I think, are going to cash. And they know. They know what's coming. And they're going to be there when there's you know, blood and gore in the streets. They're going to be there to buy the stuff back up. You know what I mean? That's how these guys get rich. They don't build or create anything. They just buy the stock. So who's smarter? The guy that is actually digging the hole or the guy that invests in the company that hires the guy that digs the hole? You know, it's the whole, the whole study, how hard you want to work or how smart you want to work. All right, go forth, do great things. Today, I will talk to you guys later. I'm out.